Do you not ask me the jollof and the jollof, jollof question? I promise, I promise. Just come and ask me Ghana jollof and Nigeria jollof. I'm from both countries. I'm from no 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 no. I cannot. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my God, Ekis is rude. I cannot be involved in this. I can't be involved. I'm not involved in this. I'm not involved. I'm not hearing what you're saying. I'm not hearing. I am not hearing you. You're talking about this. Just pill. I'm not here. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. Hi, I am Gifty Louise. You are watching Red TV. Yeah, friend and gift to Louise, watch her red TV. We leave it Oh no, no. See me for your city for local. If money day for your shokoto, we go fly around the world like go go go. Go go go. Hi, my name is Gifty Louise, and I am the official musician slash artist for the soundtrack for Assistant Madame. I think the moment I realized that music was what I wanted to do officially, like I always sang in church and the choir from like a young age or whatever, but I think the moment that I realized that this is what I want to do professionally was when I was watching um, X Factor. I was watching X Factor and I was like, I can do this. Like, it's not that hard to just get on the stage and just sing. Like, I can do this. And yeah, so the following year, I auditioned for X Factor, so that was 2015. I auditioned for X Factor. I made it to boot camp, but I didn't make it past boot camp because I lost my voice. So I couldn't perform like it was. So they kind of naturally had to say, okay, well, you can't go through the next stage. Then 2016, I got an email from one of the producers and said, we would love for you to come back. Um, I went back, but this time I didn't tell anyone. So I literally, 2016, I went to audition for X Factor. I didn't tell anyone until I came back from, from LA. So from judges houses, when I made the final, the final three girls is when I kind of got back to London and I was like, oh, dad, by the way, I have to uh, move into the X Factor house. He was like, ah, why? I go, well, I auditioned and I made it through. <laughs> so it was kind of like a surprise to like everybody. I think the biggest thing that I took away from X Factor was my experience and the people that I got to meet and opportunities that were kind of opened up to me after being on the show. I mean, I came six on the show and I was like, the, I was the last black person standing, which is like a big, a big deal, a big thing. Um, and I kind of see it this way. There are millions of people that audition for X Factor every year and I came six might not have won but that is still a very big achievement and I got to work with from my time on the show I got to work with people like John Legend um, Bruno Mars Nicole Scherzinger and like a lot more st I still work with Simon Cowell here and there and yeah the way I actually got <laughs> the job to actually do the soundtrack for the for the show was actually quite funny so I just recently moved to Nigeria and um, a friend of mine was like, oh, you're doing music. I want to introduce you to a guy called Tola. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. At this point, I didn't know who he was. So I meet him and uh, very lovely. You know, we're talking, talking, talking. He was like, oh, I like this. I sent, because I sent him some of my music prior. He's like, mm, I like this, this not so much. Da, 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 da. And I was like, well, okay, well, this is my first time actually being in the African market doing something Africa based because a lot of the things and the projects that I worked on before were very commercial, were very for the westernized world, right? So he was then like, well, there's a there's a project that I'd like you to work on if you're interested. Um, you know, there's a series, da, da 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 da. And then I was like, what series? And he was like, Assistant Madame. And I was like, oh my god, I love that show! I'm like, I'm like, I love that show. Yes. Like, what do you mean? That's not even like a, that's not even, I will do it. And we got in the studio and the song slowly, I think it took us like 30 minutes. I wrote that in like 30 minutes because it's just so easy to write about love, isn't it? We've all been there, Sha. It's so easy to write about it, but um, it's just, 
being able to do something like this is my first time doing anything soundtrack wise for like TV or whatever. So it was it was a good experience and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly. Um, my younger years were very me experimenting with who I was and who I wanted to be and I was just getting yeah let's just say I was just getting in a lot of trouble and a lot of trouble a lot uh, yeah a lot so me being Ghanaian and Nigerian I was actually raised by my dad so my dad is Ghanaian so I was actually raised by my dad in London and it was mostly just me and my dad literally I'm a daddy's girl it was just literally me and my dad nobody else just me and my dad and it was pretty quiet we had our fun moments but it was yeah it was pretty quiet and he was very supportive of me being an artist me wanting to do music um he enrolled me in performing arts school so throughout my like my life everything i did was performing arts based so because i was raised by my dad i was raised as a Ghanaian. so the nigerian side of me didn't actually come until like last year last year is when i started to kind of embrace my nigerian side more because i started to meet family members from the nigerian side and it just kind of opened me up to like a whole new world let's just say so i was raised as a Ghanaian female so i speak the language easily i understand it easily the yoruba not so much but i am learning i am i promise <laughs> i am learning i promise my challenges of moving back to Nigeria. Um, I think the traffic is definitely number one. The traffic, like a 10 minutes, something that should be 10 minutes will now come and take an hour and a half. You're just thinking, ah. Um, but yeah, traffic definitely. And I feel like just common sense. Some people just don't, things that should be like, you do this, you do that. People just make it seem so difficult. And it's just like, Ugh. And it's like, you can't even, you can't even, the thing is, you can't even stress yourself by being stressed. It doesn't make sense because you're just... It doesn't make sense. Uh, in terms of collaborating, definitely there's a lot of... There's a long list of people that I, that I want to work with. Obviously, Shay Shay is on the show. We were actually supposed to do a show together in London, but the show got postponed. Um, so it was, like, it was fun kind of seeing her again, coming back here. And um, But there's a long list of people that I want to work with. Uh, Wiz. Tiwa, um, Yemi Alade, just girl power stuff. Do you know what I mean? Girl power. I feel like we need more females in the game. This, we have Davido, we have the, we have so many men. It's time for the females to just. Uh. Bad dye job. Because I could always put on a wig. I better give me one billion. <laughs> Oh no, no. <laughs> Branch. Three million followers because you can generate that into millions. Ah. They're both Corona. <laughs> so, calorie means no fat, right? To be honest, right now I eat, I eat what I want and I still don't gain weight as a problem. So I think that I'll go for the free clothing. I have a bad memory, so secret handshake. Depends on the vibe. Do not ask me the jollof and the jollof, jollof question. Do not come and ask me Ghana jollof and Nigeria jollof. I'm from both countries. I'm from no no no. What's the question again, sorry? Do you rather have, <laughs> would you rather have like local Nigerian dishes or local Do you want me to be honest? Yeah, yeah be honest. Okay, local Ghanaian. I was raised as a Ghanaian, okay, so. Watch it. Yes. TV, series or movies? I think TV. Ice cream. Depends on my mood. That's actually a good question. That's actually a good question. Hmm. Hmm. I think music. Let's just stick to the yeah, music, music. Yeah. Hi, my name is Gifty Louise, and you should watch Assistant Madame season two. Honestly, it's literally going to be the best thing to come on your screen. The music is going to be fantastic. 
The acting is going to be super dope. The whole thing in general is just going to be mwah. Better go and watch it too.